basically as far as biasing the Bouguera, you're going to be turning on the uh, power switch only. We can leave standby off and go ahead and leave this on for uh, 10 minutes. Before you even start that though, I would suggest just going in here in the back and removing the plastic plate and going ahead and get your, AC, your uh, RCA plug in there and your bolt meter set up and uh, we're going to go ahead and cover that next but uh, again with any of these tube amps uh, it's not recommended to go inside the amp itself uh, there is there are high voltages there are procedures for draining the power out of these things but I would never recommend going into one of these uh, there are deadly voltages people have gotten killed it's not your typical AC line voltage that every once in a while you may have gotten zapped with you will not come back alive from one of these or there's a slim chance that you'll survive but anyway uh, this is a 22 watt amp but it does have high voltages inside so precaution precautions as far as what type of uh, jack to use in the RCA jack uh, basically you could just cut off an old cable RCA cable and go ahead and hook up your probes to the exposed wires or uh, I went ahead and picked up these insulated phone plugs from Radio Shack they're the solder type and they do unscrew and as you can see we can uh, go ahead and use these connectors here to attach our probe uh, I typically would separate these because you do not want to short these could do some circuit damage inside the unit but you do get eight for I believe I paid four dollars for this and uh, it does come in handy we seem to be fairly stable we are in pentode mode and the unit is still showing a stable bias of 15.2 volts DC this is the type of multimeter that I'm using. I picked this up at uh, Harbor Freight. Fairly inexpensive, but you could even use a cheaper voltmeter than this one. This one has a few more functions than some of the cheaper units, but works pretty good. The probes that I'm using here, as you can see, they're the... You know, let's see if we get a better picture here. And it basically just pull back and there's a tiny probe there that you can go ahead and grab the hole inside the uh, the jack the plug same thing here you could also use these type of probe connectors it's a alligator clip and I got nice insulation around here so you don't short out okay here's Bugera V22 and we have it set up for the biasing setup and this is right from the factory and this is uh, a great tone that we got here and here's their bias controls and we have a little RCA jack in there with our probes and that's what our meter's showing and we just turned it on about a minute ago and looks like it's stabilizing in at uh, 15 this is uh, 15 volts DC direct current and we got the meter set at 200 maximum I guess if we switch down to 20 we still get a good reading but from what we've been reading this is the recommended range we are getting some variation Bulgara does not have any bias readings yet as far as adjusting the bias for the V22 so this is where you get it we just got the information off a couple of the websites this was the panel that we took off there are four screws be very careful these are tiny screws and you can lose them very easily inside the unit like I said there's the probes 200 volts direct current and we're reading 15 it says minus but you can easily switch these around here 
it doesn't really matter you're still going to be seeing 15 and that is the factory setting and this is the setting I would recommend to keep this at this is a great setting this is a nice brown tone setting for the overdrive and a great clean tone you can see now we're probably a few minutes into the warm-up cycle they do recommend to keep this warmed up for about 10 minutes before really doing any adjusting so you are seeing a little bit of a, a rise here one of the precautions they do say as far as the biasing is to do very small changes in the bias control you probably can't see it too well let's get a flashlight on there it's right underneath the jack there tiny control do it very slowly as far as adjusting I did switch this over to triode but if we go over to full power on the pentode you're not going to see really any increase now a little bit of an increase